Finally, after so many leaks and news about this movie, the long-awaited trailer for the second installment of The Joker has been released. A movie that aims to change the stories of villains in cinema forever. After the huge success of the first film, and the expansion of the DC universe to other types of stories, Joker 2 could create its own universe. One in which we might even see its own version of Batman. But perhaps, this movie will have a much more dramatic approach, and this superhero villain aspect of the story will not be shown to us yet. But what did this trailer show, and what references or secrets are hidden? What if the story of Harley Quinn and the Joker is just a product of his imagination? What if the real story will again be a very sad one, and it will be about a man fighting against his own mind? Do you want to know more? Then stay tuned to this video. And for videos of your favorite series and movies, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Welcome to the Oasis Geek. In the first Joker movie, we saw how Arthur Fleck had been sent to Arkham Asylum a place where the most dangerous but mentally unstable criminals of Gotham are sent. This asylum is a known place in the story of the Joker, because in the comics, the villain has been in this place many times. The announcement of this new trailer started by a publication of the account Joker Movie, which announced that we would see the trailer of the new film that same day. We can see here a scene of Arthur Fleck, or the Joker, in the courtyard of a prison, possibly the courtyard of Arkham Asylum. We can see that it's raining, and Arthur is laughing and crying at the same time. Let's remember that in the first movie, it was explained to us that Arthur suffered from a neurological disease, in which anxiety caused him to laugh uncontrollably. This scene of Arthur crying in the rain and laughing is undoubtedly shocking, because it reveals to us that this movie could continue to depict Arthur's suffering. In the first film, we saw how this character went from living in depression and being despised by the society he lived in to eventually rebelling against the system and ending the lives of several people. We saw how Arthur abandoned his humanity to become the Joker, but the strange thing about this first clip is that we see that human aspect in the villain, and it seems that Arthur is not happy with what is happening. But now let's get to the official trailer of the movie. The trailer begins with Arthur at Arkham Asylum where he meets Harley, played by Lady Gaga. Harley Quinn is usually shown in the movies, first as the Joker's psychiatrist and then as an accomplice in crime. But in this movie, Harley Quinn will also be a patient with the Joker, something that changes a bit the dynamic we have seen previously in the movies. The movie tells us about how we use music to repair certain aspects in our personality. This is because the Joker 2 movie is said to be partly a musical, and we already have several clues in the trailer that point to this, such as bright colors and scenes of the Joker dancing with Harley. It's as if a musical is happening in Arthur's mind, while the rest of the world is suffering in chaos. We can see how Harley Quinn tells Arthur that she is nobody, that she has not achieved what he has achieved, and even, we can see her doing a symbol that the Joker did in the first movie. This version of Harley Quinn appears to be in love with the Joker, just like the other interpretations of her character. According to what we could see in the trailer, Harley apparently manages to get out of Arkham Asylum, and subsequently helps Arthur get out, possibly in a legal way perhaps proving that somehow the Joker has improved by getting him absolved in a trial. We see scenes in which Arthur appears to have a type of program, similar to Murray from the first film, and even as he has become a celebrity. However, at the same time, we can see scenes in which Arthur is suffering and in a psychiatric asylum. This is because just as in the first film, possibly Arthur is experiencing two realities at the same time, one that he has created in his mind and one that is actually happening. In one of these realities, he is in a mental institution listening to music. In others, he thinks he is the artist of a big problem. Maybe he will have a relationship with Harley, or maybe Harley, like his first girlfriend, is a product of his own mind. 
There is also the possibility that in the Joker's delusion, he has created a group of fans far worse than he is, who will feed his delusion as this version of Harley is. What is clear is that this film will again play with illusions and delusions. As a broken man tries to find purpose in the midst of chaos, or prove that there is no purpose beyond the chaos itself. The trailer concludes with Harley making a mark in the mirror, which blends in with the Joker's face, revealing that the Joker is back. What I think will happen in this movie is that Harley will be a woman who knew Arthur's story and fell in love with him. As is the type of women who fall in love with serial killers, which has happened in real life. It is possible then that Harley will help Arthur escape and then somehow Harley will betray him and they will end up facing each other. The interesting thing is, we won't be able to know for sure what is or isn't real about everything that happens, as it happened in the first installment. Now, it has not been mentioned for sure how long after the first movie this story takes place. We know that in the first installment, Bruce Wayne's parents lost their lives, and we know about Arthur Fleck's connection to Bruce Wayne, who thought he was his brother, since his father was Thomas Wayne. It is possible that if Arthur is released, Bruce may decide to confront him. After all, Bruce's parents died because of the chaos the Joker caused. I think we could see a younger version of Batman, or even a totally different version where Bruce never became Batman. Now, there is a scene where we can see an explosion, and we also see Arthur dressed as the Joker, rolling on the ground. This is because perhaps they are attacking the asylum where he is, or perhaps the Joker is attacking public places. This has been a pretty interesting trailer, which continues the drama we were shown in the first film, and could be much more shocking than the first installment. We don't really know what to expect from the film, as the line between fantasy and reality is continually blurred. After the first Joker installment won the Oscar, it was mentioned that a second film would be unlikely. As outdoing a film that is considered by all to be a masterpiece was very difficult. But here we are watching the trailer for the sequel, with the hope that it will indeed be better than the first installment. But tell me, what do you think of all this? Did you like this first preview? Do you already want to see this movie? And for more videos of your favorite series and movies, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You are on... The Oasis Geek